Right, hello everyone, and welcome to the first unboxing of the Cosmic Creations page. Um, really excited about doing this. This is a model I've been wanting for absolutely ages. Um, always watched it from, looked at it from a distance, but never bought myself to buy it. However, that's all changed. It's here. Um, this is, of course, the Roger Young from Starship Troopers. Now. I love the film, it's fantastic, I've always had an obsession with this ship and now I've finally managed to get my hands on it, it's so good. Um, so let's just get stuck in, first of all though I'm not German despite my last video, <laughs> that was Lucas, I am English so there we go. Um, right, this model is apparently, well it's from a company called Monsters in Motion, um, they're an American company, they've got a shop over there apparently, and as well as a web shop obviously. Um, this one actually cost, I think it was about, in the end, $180, so about just over 100 quid for me. Um, there was a customs charge, first of all, so if you do go ahead and buy one of these, just be aware of that. The customs charge was £24. I'd rather not have paid that, but uh, I couldn't really do anything about it, so it was just too exciting getting hold of it, so I had to have it. Nice basic box, obviously, with it. Now inside we have all the marvellousness that is let's just do that i have obviously opened this already i do apologize i was just too excited yesterday when i forgot got home and it was here um so this is apparently from monsters in motion a kit which they have recast themselves from the official model used in the film i no longer believe that i don't know if i believed it ever before I sort of wanted to, but I don't think it was a... Uh, I don't know, again, I don't really know. It's just a bit dodgy, really. This clearly has Hoto models on it, um, the Starfleet Carrier. I've done a bit of research and found this was a kit quite a while ago. It was originally cast in tan resin. This is grey, so it's definitely a recast. Um, I don't really know if that matters too much, to be honest. I'm just so happy to actually have the model ship, so... I can I can look past that, but first thing we see, nice picture on the front. Explain the scale. Now the scale of this one is 19 inches. There are other ones out there. One that I had my eye on as well was a lot more expensive than this kit, and that was apparently only nine inches long. So there are other ones out there, but for the time being, this is the one that I think is probably the best one. There are. I'll show you a link to some other ones later as well, hopefully. Um, but I have yet to obviously see those, so I don't know how good they are. Um, this is, as you can see, the rather pathetic instructions that you get given with it. Um, from looking at a blog by somebody else who had this model, these instructions were actually written for him. It's found on the um, Starship Modelers Forum website. Um, and at the first time when he got this uh, model, there was no instructions at all. So what my understanding is that they actually, Monsters in Motion, wrote these instructions for him. And now they've put these in with the kit themselves. So they are very basic. There's more parts than what are shown on here. So I'm still rather confused by them. But I'm sure we can work it out. I think I'm a bit more competent than what they expect. So first things first, we have... Let's just get this out of the way. Um nice padding because some of these bits are very very brittle by the looks of it we have the gantry section um, which let's just show you that quality is okay it could be better um, I think we can sort of make the most of it but it's not too bad bit of heat should straighten it all out a little bit and just a bit of a tidy up that should be perfect these are disastrous these ones here I absolutely have no idea what these are meant to be um, they are they've got some texture so they're obviously armor plates or something but I have no idea really I'm gonna have a struggle trying to work out where they go but we'll f work our way around that um, more gantry sections again I think they go on the bottom of there and very fragile but they should be fine with a bit of with a delicate finger so these two bits again you can see they are absolutely terribly messy there's just flash everywhere they are apparently guns to go on the ship they are tiny um, but mm, 
there seems to be enough of them, so maybe there's two in there, maybe for spares, but we can work around it, we can find out where they go. Um, but fairly decent, so that's everything in there, they are all sort of the very fragile bits. Now let's get to the main bit, which I'm very excited about. Let's get the front. Um, right. Ta-da! Look at that. Um, that is just the front section. This ship is made up of three sections. So that's the one main bit, and then you've got another one, and then a third one as well. So it's pretty much a whole forearm and a hand's length long, this ship. It's really big um, for the money that you pay for it especially if the other one is more expensive, the other ship that's out there is more expensive and it's only 9 inches long, you're getting a hell of a lot more for this. Um, this piece, the front bit, not too bad, moulding's fairly decent. There's a few, um, you can probably see, just along the bottom here, it's not that defined, but a bit of paintwork, it should be fine. Um, the bed on here is where you've got the flight deck that goes on the top as well, that is terribly bumpy and bobbly so that's going to use need a lot to actually fix it but the front top the whole everything is just it's superb I don't really care how bad this kit is I'm just so happy to have the ship so I can sort of live with that but you've got all the underside detail as well really good you've got all the detail in the top as well underneath the hull the front um superb nice big chunky it's really light actually so I'm pretty sure it might be hollow but it's horrendously light um don't know about that. You then have underneath big chunky midsection as well. Again, I mean, let's just sort of that length is just it's big. It's a big ship, um, but the detail on this is just it's everywhere. Again, there's bits and bobs which are a bit bobbly. I mean, sort of along here, that's all sort of it looks rather melted um, rather than anything else. But we can make the most of that. It'll be fine. You still got the extra sort of doors along the side and all the details and everything. Again, bottom perfect. It's just it's fine. I mean, for the money that you're paying, I think I don't really care. It's a recast. It's decent enough as it is. So you have the two main sections going along there. Um, those are the main bits of it. Let's just get rid of that and that as well. Um, the rest of it is made up of lots of little parcels, lots of little bits and bobs you have, let's get rid of that, first one, I sort of repackage these myself, after, myself afterwards, so they might be the wrong bags if you order one, but never mind, alright, a few more bits, let's get rid of those, alright, you have sort of the midship section, that one apparently fits on, let's go that way, that way on, so you have that, you have the gantry going along the middle, and you've got the rest of the ship at the rear, um, Mm, not too bad, you've got the points there to actually lock into the rest of it, so I just slot in nicely. It's a very terrible fit, so it's going to require quite a lot. You've got a lot of flash there as well on the bottom, so that's going to take quite a lot to take off, but mm, again, it's going to be a labour of love, but it should, when it's finished, it should just look amazing. So, I, again, I don't care, I'm just so happy to have it. So. Again, horrendously wobbly, nothing is fitting, so it's going to take a hell of a lot to do. But that bit, I'm actually quite happy with. There's not a lot of sort of overspill or anything. It's fairly well cast, that one. You've got the gantry section. Um, this isn't too bad. On the uh, Starship Modeler's website, the guy that did the review previously, he's his was terrible. He had to get a replacement sent out, but luckily I don't think I do. So just need some scoring in the middle just to bring out that, but the rest of it is absolutely perfect. Um, engines as well, now these are a rather, uh, well, just from the front, these are obviously meant to be set in, but you've got a lot of flash in the middle, that's going to take a hell of a lot to take out. I mean that's solid going through there, so we're going to have to work out how to do that. Um, again, there's meant to be points at the bottom to lock them into the engines on the back, but they need hollowing out. They don't fit too badly at the moment, but Again, could be better, but not, you know, it's workable. Um, you had that bit, that bit, that bit, and then next one, small bit. You have side panels, they apparently go on the side down there somewhere. Uh, that one, sort of like that. They are not too bad, they are very smooth and shiny on the back. I mean, it's just sort of terrible. But the actual main detail on the front is 
you know, fairly crisp, shouldn't be too bad. A few washes, just a bit tidying up, and again, nothing too horrendous. These rest and bits and bobs, they're all just the same. So you've just got various bits to put onto the side of the ship. You've got these ones. That one is, mm, again, a bit of flash, but a bit of filing down, it shouldn't be too bad. Just got the rest. That's, you know, th these ones aren't that bad, actually. They should be fine as they are, just a tiny bit of cleanup, really. Let's get rid of that. Right, sorry about that. Run out of uh, time on the camera, so I had to just stop and start again. Um, let's carry on. We have another one here. Let's get those out of the way. Um, these are all the little bits and bobs for the bridge section and everything. You get the two types shown in the film. You get the first one before they hit the asteroid in the film, and then the second one that's the replacement afterwards. They There's no sort of locking um, notches or anything. They literally will just sit on there with a bit of glue, and they'll be fine. So, getting a bit of filing down, but they should. Let's get that the right way. How dare I get that wrong? Um, we can just put those on there, they'll be fine afterwards. So, a bit of glue, you have the section for the middle as well, you've got the plate that goes on top and then you have that one with the gantry over it, so it should look just amazing when it's all done. These are cast perfectly, I mean there's nothing wrong with these apart from just a bit of sanding on the bottom. They are fine, you have the two tubes on the back. These are, they look very fragile and they look really bad on the inside, but on the outside they should be absolutely fine. There's not a trouble with those at all. Um, oop, let's drop that. That's not good. And okay, next one. Never got too many more to go. That's the rear of the ship. So you have the top bit going on there. You have the engines. Nice and simple. That's you know, that's a decent fit for the rest of the kit. That's not too bad. Again, just a bit of filing, a bit of sanding down. They should be fine. And then let's just put that just to show you roughly the length of the ship, so you've got that bit on the back, and you've got the front bit as well, I mean this is a long ship going along, so it should look, you know, on a stand or on a base or something, I haven't thought that far ahead, this is going to be a long project for me, so it's not going to get in the way of any of my commissions or anything that I've got currently going on, this is going to be my sort of personal project, whoops, um, my personal project going on sort of every sort of Sunday maybe, if I can get the time, and then we shall see how long it takes me to do, but mm, second one we have, now you get the two choices here, you get for the front section you get the there was apparently, there's about three different versions of the ship in the film you have that one, which has the cargo on the back, so that's all covered over, you don't get the gantry going along the middle, but I'm, I don't really know why, but I really like the gantry, so I'm going to keep it as the main Roger Young, you have that plate in the middle then you have gantry, hang on, whoops, uh, gantry going over the top, and I mean, it's just, it's gonna look so good when it's done. I'm so excited, as you can probably tell. It should be amazing. Um, so, that's not too bad. It's a bit bent, it should flatten out, pop it in a bowl of hot water, it should be fine. Detail, just run a knife down it, it should be fine afterwards. Just needs a bit of clearing up. It was not too bad. The cargo section is a nice big chunky bit, nice and hollow in the middle. Detail on the outside is fine. I mean, it's a bit pot, uh, pitted everywhere. You've got a few dents and dings, but I mean, that should. I might actually just leave it. It just looks like it. Oh, I don't know. It's just amazing. Lost for words on it. Um, last one. Nice and small. These are just the. I'm missing some engines. No, I'm not. They were first. That's fine. Um, last lot. Second set of engines. So they're fine. So you have... Where are the two from before? So again, those are the holes on the top that I said about earlier. You have... They just sit in the middle. They're not... Where has it gone? There we go. They're not too bad. I mean, that's solid. I can't really move that. So that's fine. You have those there. Ooh, let's leave that as it is. He says... Badly. Failing here now. Yep, there you go. Balance. Yeah, so you have that, and then you have that one slide on the bottom as well. So 
it is, from what I can see, a really good recreation from the film. It just looks perfect. Um, with the, I mean, that is terrible though. We can see that. I mean, that one's just completely filled in. That's going to take a hell of a lot. I mean, that. I don't quite know how I'm going to tackle that yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. That one's just a massive bubble, so there's a lot taken out of that one, whereas that one needs stuff taken out. So a lot of work needs doing to it. But with all the gaps filled afterwards, it should just be superb. And to have that on your shelf would just look amazing. Um, that's everything in the box. It should fit together nicely it just it re does require a lot of work by the looks of it so if you are thinking about getting this just be prepared because it is going to take a lot of time it's going to take a lot of tools and a lot of effort so but it would be horrendously rewarding to see it afterwards when it's done um there are a few other ones out there like i said i've recently found another kit roger young same again it looks same sort of size it might be a tower i think it's at 19 and a half inches long so it's a tiny bit bigger um same sort of price that was uh apparently eye monsters or something like that or eye science i'll put the link at the end for you um it looked same sort of detail same sort of i don't think it was a recast so it might be slightly better but i mean i don't see much from the photos of it i don't see much different between the two so it's entirely sort of if you're going to go ahead with this your choice but i mean this one shipping was great for monsters motion i was quite worried because the first reviews i'd read about them um before i bought this were terrible i mean every if you sort of type monsters motion onto google their actual shop in america i think that their reviews were like one star over and over and over again just rude customer service lots of things like that the email I got from them before I got this, I asked about what kit it was, because they're very vague on their website. It just says it's a recast ship from England or something like that. Um, the email I got back from them about what um, kit it was was very vague. It was very short. It was very snappy as well. So, you know, I don't want to knock them off or anything. The product was good. The shipping was great. I mean, it came in about a week and a half um, a lot quicker than I thought it would be um, from previous reviews people had waited about two three weeks for this and then they had to get replacements sent out as well so they've upped their game it's definitely a lot better um, if go ahead with it if I mean I would recommend it I mean just the sheer joy of opening this was just immense so as you can tell I'm just desperate to possibly go and build it now but we'll see about that later um, thanks for watching hopefully if there's any questions you can just contact me i'm happy to answer anything um like i said as well as doing this isn't going to affect my commission work or anything i've got a lot planned i've got a lot to do over the next sort of couple of weeks as well there will be a lot more updates hopefully um we'll see how we get on um the world eaters are coming along nicely i'm waiting for an extra bit for that before i get carried on painting again um a few other bits and bobs as well but hopefully there's going to be a few done and lots more photos so spread the words if you want to you know keep with me and just thank you very much for following the page so thank you people see you later